Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today. This is Greg, and he's the Hydrogen Man, and he has an amazing story. On our first episode, uh, he had talked about his history, his medical history, and how the how the Holy Hydrogen Machine helped it helped actually improve his health tremendously. And this is why he's at the point of his life that he is today. And today we, I'm going to give the floor to Greg. Have Greg tell you a little about himself again, just to go over some brief facts about him and then talk about some really interesting things that I think you're going to find pretty amazing about helping yourself and your overall health and also the prevention of possible illnesses. He's going to go into all that today. So Greg, Take it away. Tell everybody a little about yourself and, and everything that you, you do, because this is amazing. I'm like very excited to have everybody un understand what you do and and the the how you've actually improved your, your health through, through this one amazing machine. Well, you know, I think that probably obviously the important part is if people didn't watch the first episode, I'd probably say make sure to watch that. And I always like to start out with saying, you know, I'm, I'm not giving any medical advice or making medical claims because... I just think that's important out there. I always consult your physicians, but beyond that, yeah, it's a very interesting story mostly. I mean, it wasn't a fun story to go through, but I hope that this knowledge will help others. And ultimately, I like you said, I was extremely sick, pretty much bedridden, uh, bound to a wheelchair and in a lot of pain, a lot of different medical issues. And luckily I was able to find my way out of this, which was extremely a, a big deal because no doctor was able to help me. No naturopath was able to help me. I obviously watched numerous podcasts and they were not helpful. And I tried so many devices and so many diets and so many things. And it, it literally felt like my life was ruined. And to find my way out has been nothing but a blessing. And hopefully we can share more about that today with everybody. But I think the first podcast touched more on that where today, you know, obviously, I don't know exactly the direction you want to go, but it sounds like you want to talk more on actually the spiritual side of, of hydrogen, which is obviously what really helped me. And I find it interesting, the dynamic between the spiritual and even health you know when yeah. you look at people that the world knows well people like jesus for example you know jesus went around healing people i mean he was that was literally a huge part of his story was healing people and then the other aspect was just trying to teach people you know about love compassion forgiveness you know all these different things yeah. and so anyway i think i think that i don't know if that gives your audience a little bit of a insight of what we'll be talking to, about today but we're going to probably be talking a lot about a little but all those things actually. Yeah. And just so everyone knows that uh, Greg is going to be doing a podcast series. So he's going to be doing a series of podcasts and touching uh, different aspects of uh, his health and how the hydrogen, holy hydrogen machine actually helped improve his uh, overall well-being. And now you talked about before you had mentioned something about the God's particle. Now, I always believe that, you know, the mind, body, and soul is connected. So everything is, is all one. Everything has to be in flow. Now, when you talk about the, when you talk about God's particle, what do you exactly mean by that? And can you explain to the audience? Yeah. So I wasn't expecting this at all that I used hydrogen really just for my health. I mean, that was really what I did it for. Um, and this is because of all the science, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and I always encourage people, remember, it's got to be the right type of hydrogen. We are talking about molecular hydrogen, not to be confused with whether it's brown gas or deuterium or different things. Molecular hydrogen is the one. And that's where all the science is. And that's obviously where what they're using medically in Japan has medically been approved. Now, that what we don't expect from the hydrogen is how much more things it can also potentially do. And the reason that I ended up, in my personal opinion, realizing that it was whether you wanted to call it the God particle or a very spiritual molecule, it took a while to realize this. The first thing about hydrogen is that I call it the ascension molecule because there is nothing that ascends the way that hydrogen ascends. Um, that's one really, really positive aspect of it because you have to remember that it's what you would call it's, it's light. That's the reason that it's ascending. And right. you know, when somebody feels like things are not good, they're like, boy, this is really heavy, you know? And, or, or when you don't feel good, you're like, oh, I feel heavy. And when you're light on your feet and you just feel light, that's the way that you're ultimately trying to wanting to feel, you know? Right. And so that's, that's one aspect, but as far as more of the, the other spiritual aspects of it is it appears to be the life molecule. So people think of oxygen a certain way, but people don't realize that oxygen is oxidizing. 
And if you were to oxidize something like, let's say a piece of metal, it will turn to rust and then eventually it'll just turn to dust and it's nothing. Yeah. It, and I think oxygen personally is the death molecule. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't mean that oxygen is bad necessarily because oxygen can potentially kill, again, no medical advice here, but it can kill maybe a virus. It can kill bacteria. It can maybe kill a parasite. It keeps things clean. That's yeah. the thing about oxygen, but through death is how it's keeping things clean. Then you got something like hydrogen. Now, see, to me, the reason I say it's, it's like the holy molecule or God particle or whatnot is because hydrogen actually appears to be the life molecule. Right. And so where oxygen is an oxidant, hydrogen appears to be an antioxidant okay. and a very unique one at mm -hmm. that, right? And of course, when you, when you take water and separate hydrogen and oxygen, Hydrogen again ascends, but what does oxygen do? It actually drops to the ground. It's a heavier molecule and it drops to the ground, literally like a dead person. I mean, that's right. what would happen. They just drop. And so that's the first clue about hydrogen. But then you also have to realize that hydrogen, like for example, there'd be no life if it wasn't for the sun, yes. right? Giving us all this light and warmth. Mm -hmm. Well, what is the sun made of? It's pretty much made entirely of hydrogen. Some people might say, well, it's also made of helium. Well, helium is a form of hydrogen. <laughs> so right. it is, it, it's, it's hydrogen. Yeah. Um, and so that's gonna help us. And then on top of it, you need water here on earth. And so water is again, primarily made of hydrogen. Right. Um, it's about, it's about you know, roughly 67% hydrogen, the water, and the rest of it is oxygen. Yes. So it's, it's almost like this balance between, honestly, I don't want to say good and evil, but I would say life and death. Mm -hmm. um, even, even the tree of the Garden of Eden, which I believe is a huge misunderstanding, um, instead of calling it the tree of knowledge of good and evil, I would call it the tree of knowledge of life and death. Mm -hmm. And I think that tree is actually water. Water has the key to life and death, which is hydrogen and oxygen. Water is very right. special. It holds both these parts in very unique ratios. And so that's how kind of like it first started. Um, eventually when you, you know, life has a lot to do with movement. So something that's alive moves, like look at a little child, they're running around full of energy and they're moving. Mm -hmm. And then you look at an elderly person and they're just wanting to sit there on a, on a lazy boy or something, right? And they're not yeah. moving much. Um, but the thing that you have to look at, have you ever noticed that a child, their bodies are much warmer so they can be like in a diaper and it's cold and they're running around and they're yeah, fine. Right. Then you, then you look at an elderly person and they're always cold. Right. Yeah. And, and, and they, they have that, that actually has a lot to do with the way that the blood moves. Mm -hmm. So for example, the, the Japanese discovered, here's an interesting thing for you about cancer, for example, they discovered that people with cancer, almost all of them, like well over 90%, I believe the number is something like 96, 98% of people with cancer, when they test their core body temperature, not just your normal temperature, but core body temperature, mm -hmm. their core body temperature is actually lower than the average person. Right. So there seems to be a correlation with cancer and body temperature. Now, when they did studies in, uh, I actually released one of these videos on my channel, there was a medical clinic in Japan Mm -hmm. that specifically specializes in, well, dementia and Alzheimer's, but they look at core body temperature and they use the hydrogen. They did thermal imaging with and without the hydrogen. They did specifically use the device from the website called holyhydrogen.com. Uh, and it's so funny that they call it that, holy hydrogen. I mean, it's like literally holy. It's, yeah. it's not only sacred, but it appears the word holy really means purity. And yeah. this machine, I mean, I've done all the research and I mean, there's machines like, I guess I could show you an example, but there's like little bottles like this that I would personally never use. Right. These little tiny hydrogen bottles. They're made in China. Uh, the metals that they use, people don't understand the technology and the science. I would never use one of those. Right. And so that particular device from Holy Hydrogen, you know, that equipment. Now, the machine is awesome, but the real magic is actually the water. So mm -hmm. what the machine is doing is it has such a way of extracting the hydrogen in a very pure manner without byproduct, which is important because every other machine that I've ever seen uses either a chemical like lye or again, cheap metals, the way that they run electrical current. Yeah. So when you look at the tree of, you know, life and death, and you understand how hydrogen works in all these different, you know, aspects it, in the way that it specifically moves the blood, 
And so right. in that study that I was mentioning, they I, on my video, I believe 68, they, they show the thermal imaging and also they show how it moves the blood. Mm -hmm. And then it increases core body temperature because blood flow is obviously extremely important for even body temperature. And right. from what it appears right. like your health, yeah, you know, super important. So basically this really appears to be a highly, highly spiritual molecule. Um, I came to the conclusion, if you read um, in well, one of the ancient books, which is Genesis. So this one's out of the Bible, actually, of all things. And there's a verse in there that says something like this, because it depends on translation. Yeah. It says, God, God's spirit was upon the surface of the waters. Now, most people probably would have read that and said, it means nothing to me. I don't really know what it means. God's spirit is upon the surface of the waters. Now, the first thing that people need to understand about spirits are more are like gases. Yeah. There's specific gases. And I won't go into explaining why unless people want to know. But the main part is, I remember there was, I try to reach out to as many scientists as I can and people who understand hydrogen the best, which are none in America, unfortunately. All the best ones are in Japan. Right. And one of the things that they observed was when you fully saturate water full of hydrogen. Right, right. They noticed that the, they noticed that the gas was actually drawn to the surface of the water and would literally dance and hover upon the surface of the water, just like the Bible verse. Wow. And not exactly. I thought it was really kind of remarkable. Now, remember yeah. what the Bible is saying. The Bible is literally saying that this is the spirit of God. Now, there's a lot of things that I discovered that, and I didn't discover this on purpose. It was, a, it was an accident that, that right. lines up with that. So hydrogen appears to be the most pure substance known to man. That sounds a lot like God to me. Mm -hmm. It also has more energy and power per square inch than anything known to man. So it's the most powerful thing. That's why they use hydrogen to make things that can potentially blow up and whatnot. Right. So super powerful. Sounds like God to me. The only molecule that totally ascends to the sky ascension i mean this sounds very holy and spiritual i mean jesus ascended you know when he left earth and whatever else so that's pretty powerful too and other holy people did too I, I believe people like um moses and elijah and i think even melchizedek but anywho so everything that i kept lining up and then it ends up being the life molecule so instead of an oxidant it's the antioxidant but it's a source of life meaning the light of the sun the light of the world yes and the water we need water and that balance, now granted, what happens when the light goes through water? Well, then we see the rainbow, mm -hmm. you know, the full, the full spectrum or whatever. Right. So all, all of it seems to really fall together. And then of all the things that it could do for the body, that's where things get totally weird. Because yeah. I don't think anybody expected hydrogen to be good for your health. <laughs> I, mean, right. no, I don't think anybody expected that. And it has that anti-aging effect also. So there's an anti-aging effect to the hydrogen anti-inflammatory and and the thing that i love the most about it is that the way it appears to protect you right so I, be I believe it's video number eight where i show it protecting the cells in the body from for example radiation or things like chemotherapy yeah but, but imagine all the things that we are bombarded with every day in the water in the air in the food and just even even our homes right the yeah. paints sheetrock the glues you know all this type of stuff and so I think we need is a lot of protection and hydrogen seems to be this like almost magical force field mm -hmm. that appears to protect our health. And I just think it's a very loving molecule. It doesn't yeah. seem like it does anything to want to hurt us. Like oxygen could hurt us. You yeah. Know? Ironically, oxygen actually dehydrates us. I don't know if you're aware of that, but anybody who's ever inhaled high purity of oxygen for an extended period of time, you get raw on the nose. It hurts. Mm. so it dehydrates and on top of it it burns so oxygen burns kind of like uh hydrogen peroxide mm -hmm. i don't know i don't know why they call it hydrogen peroxide because to me it's not really hydrogen it's it's h2o2 meaning it's an additional oxygen molecule right and because of its oxidizing that's why when we get a cut you put hydrogen peroxide to kill any bacteria for example or something so that you don't get an infection Right. So that's why you use, you know, hydrogen peroxide. And so oxygen, if, if you have a very powerful hydrogen peroxide, like maybe 40%, yeah. I'm telling you right now, you can burn yourself really bad. Right. So oxygen burns kind of like the fire, you know, like when you go, people say, oh, you know, you go to hell and you burn, <laughs> you know, it's, it's death. 
Yeah. Hydrogen is soothing. It, it's funny that somebody recently that I personally know burnt themselves and they mm -hmm. burnt themselves pretty bad. And they were really concerned that they were going to have, I should make a video about this. I haven't done the, the video yet. I immediately, I had read a research study on this where they were using hydrogen for burnt victims. So I told this person immediately, I took hydrogen water, put it in a bowl and they put their hand in there and they left it in there for like half an hour. And the next day their hand was fine. They literally, wow. it was, it was unbelievable. So, and I've also seen, uh, this is actually a trick, I think, to good health. You know how people lay out in the sun. Some people even like to stare off into the sun. I wouldn't personally do that, but people do that. You wouldn't want to do it, in my personal opinion, without hydrogen. Right. And that's because we know the sun can be harmful for our body. Right. And I've noticed not just me, but numerous other people, we all started noticing this pattern. We weren't burning when we were in the sun anymore because of the right. hydrogen. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't even using sunscreen. And it was kind of odd. It's like, well, that's weird. How come all of a sudden I stopped burning? And I and I personally believe that we're, we can extract more of the benefits of the sun if our body's strong enough to withstand the dangers of the sun. You know, there's that whole adage of what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah. And so if you can put the body through certain things like let's say I put a certain amount of weight on my shoulders my bones will most likely get stronger from the gravity right right and the hydrogen is kind of like that where you could get burned from the sun but if you're using it in my personal opinion not only protects you now it's helping you get greater benefit you know from the sun and I think it works like that in a lot of things in life so anyway I think it's not only a very spiritual molecule I think it even goes like I said into into the scriptures, you know, because the scientists are the ones who told me, hey, we, we noticed that the hydrogen hovers and dances upon the surface of the water. And it was just like that verse. Mm -hmm. And that really, really blew my mind. And yeah. even all the wonderful things that are that are created, like, uh, for example, gold. Do you know where gold is made? Where it's made? Where? It's, it's made in the stars. It's literally dying supernovas. They create this precious metal that eventually rained down on Earth. But it's made in the stars. And we know what stars are made of. Stars are made of pretty much almost entirely hydrogen. Wow. So all these amazing things that we have, ultimately, there's a reason that hydrogen is the number one thing on the periodic table. It seems to be the source eventually of everything and is a part of pretty much everything. And that sounds like a lot. That sounds like the God particle to me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty, that's a pretty intense, you know, when you think about that. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, now, when you started doing, when you started to, to take hydrogen and you started to use the holy hydrogen machine, what changes did you notice in your body? Like, how did you know that it was starting to work? What what were the significant changes that you started to notice? You know, one thing that I've learned about hydrogen too, and and that, again, it really sounds like the whole God particle thing again, is that mm -hmm. it's really subtle, so it's not overbearing. Like, for example, if you drink ozone water, like O three. It has a strong taste. You probably wouldn't want to drink a lot of it, you know, just a little bit here and there. But hydrogen, when you drink it, the water's super smooth and you can really feel it permeating. You feel more hydrated. In fact, uh, it's another one of the testimonials. Somebody actually, it was my own mother. Um, mm -hmm. she, she used to have problems with hydration as a lot of elderly people do. Right. And what happens is she used to have to use things like Gatorade and, and these type of drinks or things that were like electrolyte mixtures. And, yeah. and she was, she needed to try to stay hydrated. Right. Um, but she always had, she always had problems with it and she would always get infections. That's another thing that hydrogen's amazing with that. I personally have seen, I've seen it literally prevent infections. Really? Uh, my mother probably would. Oh yeah. My, my mother probably wouldn't want me to share this. All I'll say is that she used to get a certain type of infection very often. I mean, I, I don't know, a couple times a year, three times a year. It was it was pretty regular. And she would also get kind of these dizzy spells and didn't feel very good. Yeah. Um, and she would, all, the only water wouldn't fix it. She said, I would drink water. It didn't fix it. The only thing that would work was Gatorade. You know, it was a hydration issue. Yeah, yeah. Once I, once I got her that, the holy hydrogen device, and she started using the hydrogen water, all of a sudden I noticed that the Gatorades disappeared. And they were, they were never around anymore. And I asked her about it. And she's like, I don't know what it is about this water, but I feel fine now. I don't need the Gatorades. Because I didn't want her drinking Gatorade all the time. It's really not very good, yeah. in my opinion. Um, there's ingredients mm -hmm. in there that I just can't even believe are in there. They, they shouldn't even be in there. Uh, but they are. And, and it's nothing I would want in my body. I was concerned about her health. 
Yeah. So she started using the hydrogen water. And then the other thing that ended up happening for her was they started noticing that she stopped getting those infections that I was talking about. Yeah. And so, and I, she would hate me for this, but she was, they're UTIs, right? Mm-hmm. That, that's something that would that just happen for her regularly. Yeah. And so she was, so she, those infections just stopped. And then on top of that, she also had some thyroid issues. And so she's had thyroid issues forever. And she'd go to the doctor after drinking the water for, you know, many months. I mean, usually you see the biggest results in like a six to eight month period. Mm-hmm. You might notice something by three months, but you know, I'm talking like big stuff. I'm talking about people who've gotten off of, you know, medications and certain conditions go away. Your joints feel better all of a sudden, like because of inflammation and and, yeah. and whatnot. And so anyway, eventually she's go to the doctor and they're like, well, we don't know why, but your thyroid's working better. I mean, we're talking decades of her thyroid not working and all of a sudden works better. So they had to like lower her medication. Then wow. she'd go back, you know, another six months or a year later. And sure enough, again, they're like, oh, we got to lower it more. And they kept lowering it. I mean, they were getting eerily close to getting her off the medicine. But then she takes breaks. You know, she goes on vacation. She does things. She stops the hydrogen. She's not, she, I've noticed she hasn't been very like diligent with it, you right. know, but um, so it's kind of a little bit of a roller coaster in, in that regard. But for people who really like stick to it, like me or even my father, you know, seeing things like glaucoma disappear, macular degeneration, high blood pressure, wow. high cholesterol, diabetes, um, again, frequent infections, um, oxygenation of the blood. Um, you know, there was that guy who smoked three packs of cigarettes a day for 50 years, and he had major problems with oxygen. And it's funny, because you're like, why would hydrogen help with his oxygen levels? And what yeah. people don't realize is, we're breathing in already a lot of oxygen. It's yeah. in our atmosphere, roughly 20%. Mm-hmm. So we already get enough oxygen. So his problem was not so much that there wasn't any oxygen is that his lungs and yeah. his body was not in a healthy place. Wow. So the hydrogen was bringing back this healthy, this healthy place. And he started absorbing the oxygen better. Wow. So, so anyway, I just think it's, it's not only in my opinion, it's the most healing molecule there is. I think, I think that it's a spiritual molecule that you know, there's, I mean, they have a, I think I showed this to you, the, the Japanese guy who wrote the book, Hidden yeah. Messages in Water. Tell our audience you know, about and, it. Yeah, basically what, what he discovered, and, and this sounds really Looney Tunes, and, and for people who don't know, I'm a huge skeptic. I like to have really good data to prove the point, but basically he saw that water would react to words, sounds like music, different frequencies, even thoughts and pictures. Mm-hmm. So it's unbelievable. And whether it's positive or negative. So sometimes they would react positively. This is when the water reacts positively. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And, and I mean, I'd have to look for a while probably to find the negative ones, but the ugly ones, like, I guess this is considered the ugly one on the left here. Right. Yeah, not this one, but yeah. So it wasn't very pretty. This is more pretty symmetrical. Um, the images are really quite beautiful. Now what he didn't realize, and this is my theory, and we'll see you know, what happens in the future is, I don't think he realized that it wasn't so much the water as much as it was the hydrogen within the water. Yeah. I mean, the water was special, but it's, um, he, he learned that, that, that water appears to have memory. Mm-hmm. And that's where things get kind of spiritual with the whole God particle part. It's something that I shied away from, but I'm going to share with your audience is that the more I used the hydrogen and you know that the body goes through a cycle of seven years, roughly. Yes. Mm-hmm. The longer I've used it, the more that I've noticed, in fact, I was just talking to a guy today who says that he doesn't, he's never been really an intuitive person and he's been on hydrogen for a while. And he started noticing that he started to become like more sensitive to things like more intuitive. Yeah. And, and it, and it's wild because that's what happened to me. And the longer that I've used it, the impact has gotten stronger and things have gotten so clear that sometimes I feel like I see things that the world just doesn't see. Right. And I'm watching the world go through what it's going through. And I kind of laugh inside a little bit, but the, the molecule is amazing for the body. But I think when the body is in a good place, then mm-hmm. we're, in a, we're in a better place mentally. Yeah. So even for things like depression or people who have, you know, some type of trauma or mm-hmm. even TBI, traumatic brain injury. Um, I know that doctors say there's nothing you can do, though. I've seen, I mean, I've literally witnessed people who had, certain brain conditions, even Alzheimer's and dementia, I put the videos up and those things are supposed to be things that can't really be treated. Yeah. Really. 
Mm -hmm. And I'm not making any claims or anything, but I can tell you, you see the people's testimonies and you see the before and after pictures. Yeah. And I mean, one of the women can barely talk. I mean, it was, right. it was almost like she had had a stroke. Yeah. Um, and now she talks normal. So it's unbelievable. Yeah, it is really unbelievable. You know, the, the whole world is made by energy and we have molecules everywhere. And the thing is, is that people don't see the frequencies. They don't see the energy. They don't see the molecules. So they don't know how, how, how powerful it really is, but it is. Yes. And hydrogen is, is so jam packed full of energy that they act one of the way that one of the words that they call it, they call it active hydrogen because it's so active. It's just so full of energy. Yeah. And it's one of the things that people even use it just for energy. You know, it's, right. but it's not like, it's not like caffeine though, you know? Yeah. So it's just very different. Like I said, it's subtle, but in time you'll see changes. Like another one of the changes that I went through that took time was my fingernails mm -hmm. and my fingernails, it would drive me nuts because every little thing that I would get my fingernail caught on, just like if I rubbed against the wall or my clothes, you know, if it gets caught on clothing, yeah, yeah. it would pull my nail, it would pull my nail back. Ooh. Painful. And my nails were, they were so weak yeah. and it, it bothered me a lot because it was painful. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, ah, oh, why is this always happening? You know? And I was so frustrated about it. Once I started using the hydrogen and of course I use other nutrients. Like, I think I showed this to you before, but you know, like the, this is the product that I like, but okay, it's called power, power shake. I mean, if people want to try, it's amazing. Everything's food. So I'm very, I'm really big on natural, clean food, minerals. Yeah with clean water and hydrogen, they, they work together synergistically. This is from ishopperium.com. Um, in fact, if people want a discount, you, they can use the code uprising144k if they want to. They don't have to. I mean, I'm not trying to like sell that thing. I'm just showing what I, I use. And once I started using the hydrogen with the, with the nutrients, of course, too, because I noticed, think about it, the way that it moves the blood, it's carrying the nutrients everywhere. Hydrogen appears to open up glow, uh, ghost vessels. I don't know if you know anything about that. I can explain that in a second if you like. Yeah, please do. And so eventually my nails not only started getting way stronger and they don't get caught on things anymore, but they also are growing ridiculously fast. I mean, it, it, it gets to the point like just ridiculous. And I'm yeah. not the only one. And so as far as ghost vessels, so what happens is we have these blood vessels, you know, where blood is going to bring in nutrients and whatnot. As you age, there's, it's almost like this area that had once had blood, mm -hmm. blood is not getting there any longer. And it's like a ghost town. Right. And like an ancient verse that came from an ancient scripture, it says life is in the blood. Right. So it's very important to have the minerals, the nutrients, the hydration, the hydrogen, of course. Yeah. Even oxygen, but we already breathed that in, in the blood, carrying it throughout the body. Right. But if it's not getting to certain places, then there's no life in that place because there's no blood. Right. And they call them ghost vessels. The, um, you can literally Google it and where blood is not getting to anymore. And a lot of that also, even like skin, when mm -hmm. you're dry, you know, the hydrogen gets in there, bringing blood, nutrients. Yeah. Good. It's even good for collagen production, apparently, wow. you know, from what I've read. So it's good for the skin. You know, people would probably never guess that I'm 100 years old. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a joke. But anyway... But the, the ghost vessels, the hydrogen appears to actually open them and bring blood back into the place where they were no longer. Right. And so that means that now it's bringing nutrients mm -hmm. and more hydration and all the magical things that hydrogen does from the anti-inflammatory to anti, you know, antioxidant. Yep. So it's antioxidizing specific things in those areas. And so opening up those ghost vessels, apparently this, there's a doctor in Japan who was talking about it saying it's super, super important. Right. For our health. And he said, now this is his words, I'm not, I'm not mine. He says that it is extremely important when it comes to viruses. And I thought, mm -hmm. well, okay, this is kind of interesting. Yeah. But, you know, I, I stay a little bit away from that because these days they want to block everybody for talking about the V word. So I just mm -hmm. stay away from that. But, but I just think that it's important for the human body. I even think, um, not to get off on a tangent here, but even the state of the world right now. Yeah. I kind of think there's a little bit of a war going on for the human body. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody wants control over us. Everybody wants our money, right? Like, oh, let's tax you to hell. And you go to work yeah. every day and you're like a little slave and they want to take it all, right? Right. And and when I say there's a war on the body too, is that they try to pollute the body. So for mm -hmm. example, 
they put stuff in our water, they put stuff in our air, they put stuff in our food, just all over the place. And when if you pollute the blood and it pollutes the mind and you can't think straight. And that's again, what I love about hydrogen, the way that it's helping with those, that free radical damage, the way it yeah. protects you from this stuff, the way that it could potentially flush everything out of your body and really help with nutrient absorption. That was, um, I do blood work quite regularly to make sure that my protocols are working and see how hydrogen affects you. And when the doctors see my blood work, they're just always blown away by the amount of nutrient absorption that I have. And they look at, you know, my B12, they look at my vitamin D levels. Yeah. They look at, you know, every aspect of my blood. They look at my platelets, you know, whatnot. But when they, and inflammatory markers too, when they looked at everything, that's literally when I got a call. I've, I've received calls more than once, but it was the most recent one that blew my mind when this female doctor called me and she's like, I cannot believe what I'm seeing yeah. What in the world are you doing? She said, I, she actually, it was the first time that a doctor was like, I want to know what you're doing because I want to apply it to my patients. And yeah. I was like, wow. And and for a regular MD, I'm not talking about a natural cuff. I'm talking about an MD. Yeah. This is very, very unusual though. I have worked with quite a few MDs, you know, from oncologists yeah. to naturopaths to just normally, you know, practicing, you know, PCP, you know, type of doctors. And so it's been a very interesting road. And I think it's a borderline between something very spiritual and how that actually that spiritual connects to your health and going after the human body to me is, is kind of a spiritual thing too, because the body, according to ancient scripture is the temple yeah. of God. Right. So if it's a temple, you know, you want to, you know, if you're going to go after anything, you'd go after, if, if you're evil, yeah, you would go after, after the temple, right. You know, that, that's holding, that's holding the spirit. So that was interesting. No, it is very interesting. It's it's pretty, you know, it's it's pretty amazing. Now, how does the the machine actually work? Like, how does it, um, like when you get up in the morning, like what do you have to do? Like, it, it, how does it actually? Is there something you have to put in it? You know, how long does it take? You know, can you go over that with us? Yeah. So the beautiful thing about the machine is that it, clearly the Japanese did us all a favor. <laughs> I don't think there's any way that you could produce this level of hydrogen gas um, on your own. So they have one, they use a very special metal. So it's not a normal metal. Um, the metal on the cheap devices, like I use this as an example, is like a little circular thing with a bunch of holes punched punched in it. I mean, I guess right. I can show you if you want to see them. You can see just the circular thing inside Oh, of there. I see. Yes, it has a and bunch of little circles a, punched in. Mm -hmm. Yep, just a bunch of little circles. Um, that's not the way that the uh, Hydrofix does it. They are they they actually specifically create a certain pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, my understanding is that they're literally handmade by like professionals, almost like a jeweler. Okay. Uh, and so the metal has to be of extremely high quality. Um, these things, unfortunately, are made like in China. Mm -hmm. um, most devices are actually made in China, and I never discovered a good China a, a good device from China. Um, this one's Japanese, and they literally crafted the metal like a, like they would a samurai sword. I mean, just unbelievable. Yeah. Then the membrane in it. Um, the membrane's important because, and they're transparent, so you can't really see it because it just yeah. it's clear like uh, it's it's clear like water, so you wouldn't you can't see it. You right. you wouldn't be able to. See it. It's clear. Right. Um, but the thing is, the membranes. I saw lab reports, and I personally think, well, this is based on the lab report. These membranes have PFAS in them, from what I've seen, which is a really nasty forever chemical that you wouldn't want to ingest. Well, the Hydrofix company. It wasn't just the company; it was Japan. Obviously, they really wanted to create a really good membrane that was safe and clean. Yes. And that was higher quality, that would last longer, better in every way. Right. And that one, I got to see the lab report, no PFAS. So th that's amazing right there. Okay. No PFAS. That's a really great thing. So that's important. Then the overall design. So making sure that you're not electrolyzing the water. So that was important because I learned that when you electrolyze water, there are certain impurities that are created that you potentially wouldn't want to ingest. Right. And then they have, then they have a special cartridge, which is everything's in its food grade and nobody even has that technology. Um, the technology that this device is using is pretty unreal. They're using technology that nobody has. So right. this is literally like one-offs. Nobody has this metal. Nobody has this membrane. Nobody has this food grade type of cartridge. Yeah. And then of course it's, the overall design and so what the what the machine does is it, it very carefully extracts the hydrogen out of water passes it to this really high-end membrane I and mean, there is no other membrane like it yeah and then only pure hydrogen in tiny little nanobubbles dissolves into the water and, and you want those nanobubbles yeah. very stable 
no chemical reaction like like I'm not a fan of hydrogen pills or I'm not a fan of any device that uses chemicals like sodium yeah. hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, lye. And so then it just dissolves into the water, a lot like nature, like the place from Lourdes, France, and you just drink it. So you're using water as a carrier. Right. And for people who have a hard time understanding, you're dissolving this gas into the water, much like soda. So mm -hmm. like CO2, that's a gas in, so in water. So you're using water again as a carrier. In this case, you're using hydrogen. So right. water is a carrier for this hydrogen gas. And then the device has another neat option where you can inhale the gas. Oh, really? Yeah. And you can actually inhale the hydrogen gas. And I think it's important for people to understand, like, for example, again, using this blend as an example, because this does directly electrolyze the water, you would not want to inhale gas from one of these, in my opinion. Yeah. And yet, yet people do. And I think a lot of them have taken off the market because of what I, you know, I've been warning people and I, maybe people got sick and stuff like that, but I saw people trying to make an attachment to inhale straight from these, but you wouldn't not want to inhale from a device that is directly electrolyzing the water. Right. And, um, and so that's, that's, I wish I had it in front of me just to show you guys, but you know, it's the size of a coffee maker. If people want to see it, then go to holyhydrogen.com and check it out. If they want a discount code, I don't know if you have one, I can give one if, if you don't have one. Yeah, uh, which is know. up uprising one four four k, which is the name of my YouTube channel. They can use that if they want, don't have to, but it does give you discount. Um, but that device is is truly something special, and that is obviously a huge part of not just what helped me get my life back, yeah, but other people who I love and I care about, and that's why you know, it's important to talk about it because people don't know that this is out there. Certainly doctors don't. Know. There's so many doctors. The majority of doctors don't know anything about hydrogen and how to use it. That's why they contact me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want me to, they want me to explain it to them and help them. And I even spoke to a, to a scientist the other day uh, who does a lot of research on actually certain types of hydrogen of all things. Right. And, um, and they were using a, not a very good device. They were using a device that, that has lye, which is the main ingredient in Drano. Mm -hmm. and they thought it was insane they were looking you know because he was working with a doctor and they're looking at the device and they're like this doesn't even make any sense we shouldn't be using this but this is what's out there and they had a pretty bad feeling about it and it doesn't feel good when you use it and then they found they did all the research and all their research led them to the same exact device that i found to be the best too this japanese device and so then they found my videos of course on top of it so they reached out to me and we got to have some really good conversations about the science, the hydrogen, you know, what it appears to, to be able to do for the body. Right. And it, it, it's unreal. I mean, it's unreal. It's a very nice, it's a balancing molecule. So it really helps to bring, in my opinion, bring balance and homeostasis back to the body. And, and ultimately that affects your mind, you know, yeah. your state of mind. Um, I, I've seen stuff where it appears that it helps with stress hormones. So when you're mm -hmm. really stressed out and you get these stress hormones, hydrogen actually appears to bring them back down and that really helps too. There's so many, there's just so many things that it does. It's, it's kind of hard to believe. It's kind of like water. I mean, yeah. how many things does water do? We right. use it for washing vegetables, taking showers, drinking it, swimming in it, you right. know, ma making stuff, you know, we can literally use, I, anyway, I won't go into all the things that water can do, but there's a lot, <laughs> yeah. a lot of things and hydrogen is much the same way. So that's pretty amazing. Now, is there a certain amount that you're required to drink or it doesn't matter how much you drink a day? It does matter. It appears, and again, this is not medical advice, but it appears that you need somewhere about, I would say 2.2 to 2.5 milligrams of hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So the, the machine makes 1.5 liters at a time, super easy to use. It's just one button. So you just, right. I wake up in the morning and I just hit the button. It takes half an hour for it to fully saturate 1.5 liters. I only drink one liter. I, I think that maximum you should drink at one time is one liter, empty stomach, is the most is the best way to do it, in my opinion. And it should not be confused with, you know, the alkaline machines and water mm -hmm. ionizers. Yeah. The reason that I that I mentioned a lot of people get confused by that. True hydrogen, like pure molecular hydrogen, is basically pH neutral. Okay. So anything that manipulates the pH through ionization is actually, in my opinion, based on data though that I've seen in Japan, right. is actually not good. It's not good for you. So in the long term, the only reason that they discovered any benefits was because they were inadvertently making a little bit of hydrogen. So it appeared that the benefit was actually coming from the hydrogen, it had nothing to do with the pH of the water. 
that was discovered obviously in time. Um, but yeah, so the machine just fully saturates it and you just drink it. it it's that simple. All the technology is there for you and you don't have to have a lab before, before you, to get really high in hydrogen, you would have needed very, very expensive equipment to make medical grade, super high purity, which is important. Yeah. I wouldn't use hydrogen unless it was of high purity. And now you can get a device that's, in my opinion, quite cheap. At first, I thought it was expensive because they're like 20 something hundred bucks. Right. Um, I think they're, they're roughly 2,500 bucks. And at first, I thought it was expensive. But learning more about hydrogen, it is actually extremely cheap. Right. Because the machines are also like a Toyota. They're super reliable, you know, last a really long time. And I calculate it, you know, mathematically compared it to every other device, even like the, the, the little cheap ones that unfortunately these things break really yeah. easily, these Chinese ones. And so in the long term, it ends up being the cheapest way that I've ever discovered it. And it's the best, you know, so it, it was absolutely life changing. And I'm, I was just super grateful for the company, the guy who actually did it. I can't even begin to tell you how grateful I am, because if it wasn't for him, I haven't really found other devices that I would have been happy with. So right. it's been a blessing, you know, I'm going to think of right now, here's a shout out from, from your channel to him, but he, he, he doesn't speak English. So mm. um, he probably doesn't watch, but, uh, but I'm thankful that he brought mm. this to the world. And I'm thankful for you too, because this is a way of people learning about it that right. really don't know that this exists. Exactly. And, uh, very special. I actually think it's like, you're, you know, back on the God particle thing, I think it's actually like ingesting light. Yeah. Because the sun is made up of obviously hydrogen and you're literally ingesting it through the water and you can inhale the gas. And to me, it's like you're literally ingesting light and this yeah. wonderful gas or spirit or whatever you'd want to call it. That's amazing. That is truly amazing. Now, when you compare the taste of water to this, is there a difference in taste? So there shouldn't be. So for example, hydrogen is odorless, colorless, tasteless. So true hydrogen should never leave a color. Like for example, I think we talked about the hydrogen pills. Yeah. You drop that in the water and the water turns to gray. It turns to the color of metal. So that's yeah. already, in my opinion, a big no-no. Right. And then of course it tastes like crap. Yeah. And it doesn't smell good either. Yeah. You know, so it's not colorless, odorless, or tasteless, but true hydrogen done correctly has no taste. It's okay. Abs absolutely no taste if, if done properly and correctly. Right. Unless there's something in the water. If there's something in the water, I've noticed that the hydrogen will enhance that aspect of the water. Mm -hmm. But if your water is super clean, and I'm really big on super, super clean water, I educate and teach on that. And I got lab reports about what's in our water and how to clean it. When you clean it and you put it through the machine, definitely no taste. It's just super smooth. You can feel the hydration of it. And right. it's really subtle. And with time, though, it, you start seeing crazy benefits. Um, I think it's a lot like eating healthy. Yeah. You can eat healthy for a day. You can eat healthy for a week. But the truth is you're really not going to see the, the greatest results from eating healthy until months and months go by and years. And, and of course, you're just going to be feeling better in general. But it takes a little bit of time. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Now, where can you find this machine again? Uh, the official website, and I would say in order not to get a fake one, the official website is holyhydrogen.com. That's the official company. And they, they don't, they don't have like 20 machines. There's a lot of websites that have like 20 machines or 10 machines or different things. They only do the best. They don't carry anything but the best. And that's literally the only one they carry because it's the best. There are different, they have one that's a lower model. And then they have like a premium model that's like better in many ways and yeah. can be used internationally and everything and the company will only do the premium they don't even do the lower model they're like only the best and so i kind of like that i appreciate that yeah definitely definitely now you have a lot of information on your youtube channel that talks about hydrogen talks about your story talks about you know all different aspects where can people find you so people can find me primarily on youtube i mean they can go to twitter you can find me under hydrogen man and the number two, you can find me on Instagram and you can even find me on rumble, but I don't really release the most current and best stuff there. The best stuff is on YouTube and you just go to YouTube on the search box. You type in up rising one, four, four K all one word. And all my videos are there. They're all free. I'm always given as much information as I possibly can to hopefully help people yeah. find their way back to health. I mean, that's really what it is. And sometimes I'll just do fun stuff. 
you know, but, you know, I enjoy doing different things and I'll talk about water too. And people will see me make smoothies and talk about nu nutrients and nutrition. But in the end, yeah. hydrogen is foundational. Water is foundational. Water and hydrogen is foundational, in my opinion, too, to really good health. After that, there's many different ways that you could uh, go about it. Right. I agree with you. Definitely. Definitely. So I, I look forward to this because we're going to be doing a podcast series. You're going to be on many more times and we're going to go over lots of different more aspects about hydrogen and other ways that it helps you and improves your body and more about you and everything that you've gone through and how it healed you. So I'm looking forward to our next uh, podcast series. And thank you so much for coming on the show today. Oh, absolutely. It was a pleasure. So it was nice talking to you and thanks for having yeah. me on. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm so, I'm so glad to see that you're doing so well because where you were and where you are now is like, it's two different worlds. It's A to Z. Your health has, it, it the improvement is like wordless. You know, you, you have your life back. You got your life back. And, you know, coming from someone with a chronic illness, you know, people don't realize how much that means unless you go through something traumatic or something taken away from you. And then you realize how valuable it is. And you were one of the lucky few that actually got your life back. And it's because of the holy hydrogen machine. So I'm so glad that you had such a positive reaction to this machine and that it helped heal you in many different ways. Yeah, it really is something that's night and day. And of course, I learned a lot about gratitude. I think sometimes we don't realize what we have until we lose it. Yeah. And whether it's our eyesight or in my case, my inability to walk and even use my joints and, and whatnot. And it's just been such a blessing. That's why I'm like, I just feel like gratitude is a huge part of life and extracting the juice and the, the joy out of life. Yeah. And then again, being grateful for, I'm grateful for Japan. I mean, they, they discovered this and that specifically the Japanese guy who made this equipment. Yeah. And I'm also grateful to other companies like the ones that make the, the device that I use for cleaning water. I guess I should just let people, you know, probably know about that if you want me to, but sure. let's see here. Um, it's a, it's a website called mypurewater.com. Okay. And again, if anybody, if they want discounts, I always, I always get codes. Cause I mean, I'd love to get people discounts and it's uprising one, four, four K it helps support my channel a little bit, but not, I mean, honestly, not that much, but yeah, that's not the point. The point is to, just to really help people be able to navigate all this and make it easy for them. Cause I've done all the homework, but yeah, that's, you're going to make the cleanest water that way. And then you can put that water in the machine because clean water is important. If you're oh, going to use sure. it as a carrier, you know, yes. so I just personally, that's what I personally do. I only share what I personally do. Right. So I don't, I'm, I don't talk about, you know, 30 different products or a hundred different products. I just, I wanted to minimize health the, the most that I could yes. by having very few things. And it's literally just clean water, hydrogen and nutrients, Yeah. you know, and, um, and, you know, obviously a little, maybe a little exercise going walking, nothing crazy, you know, right. And it's absolutely been life changing for me and others who have, you know, who followed protocols. And, and I've worked with many people with, you know, cancer is, is probably one of the big ones people call me about, but a lot of gut issues too. Hydrogen yeah. is incredible for the gut. And we know that almost 80% of our immune system comes from the gut yes. and even certain chemicals that make us happy or to be stable mentally, which I think is a huge problem with the youth right now, as we can see, you know, all the no, things that yeah. they're doing and. The thing I won't even say what the word is, but the things that happen in schools and and just the violent behavior, you know, of of people, and I think that they're in uh, they're imbalanced, they're unhappy, and the body I think plays a really big role in that. It's not the only thing, but it's very important to have the body properly balanced so you, you can think straight. <laughs> so. you, you do find that the younger generation, you know, our the generation Z, a lot of them have anxiety and suffer from depression and. You know, it's something to consider and think about. Absolutely. And that's why, I mean, I went through that, you know, I, at a very young age, I went through a lot of the depression and, and feeling very, very unhappy. Yeah. And I would have never thought in a million years that, you know, getting my body right, getting it properly hydrated, the magic of hydrogen and the magic of being grateful is, is important, but yeah. it's important to feel good too. Right. You know? And so all of it was important and, and it just, it transformed my life. And, and I really, I'm in a very good place finally. And it was a long road. It was brutal. And I hope that, you know, for anybody who's going through difficult times, I, you know, the only thing I can tell you is you got to have a, you got to have a plan 
And yes. then you have to be able to execute that plan and stay diligent, you know, and um, you got to be a little strict with yourself a little bit, but the reward is so worth it. At least for me, yeah. for me, it was e- even things like acne, by the way, if we ever eventually talked about acne, you know, I used to have really bad acne. Oh, really? And, uh, yeah. And doing the hydrogen and changing my diet and this type of stuff, my skin totally changed. I mean, I literally had acne, not only on my face, but I, I had it on my back for yeah. almost my entire life. Wow. And now it's all clear. And I was super happy when the acne went away. I was like, oh my God, I never thought, <laughs> that, you know, you know, doing these things for my health would, would transform my skin and the way that I feel. And even my eyes anyway, you know, my yeah. vision, I don't even, you know, I have some glasses that I used to use and sometimes I'll still use them, but I don't really, really need them anymore. Yeah. Um, that's why I really almost, almost never use them. And um, so somehow it wasn't just me. Multiple people have noticed that their vision has improved with hydrogen, which is so crazy. Why would it that improve crazy. your vision? So there's just so much. And I'm sure we'll be talking about it more as time goes on. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, Greg. It's been always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. I, I look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> me too. Bye-bye. Bye.